Hey there everybody, it's Car with Sequentially Yours. Uh, normally when I do editorials, I do it kind of in the style of the main format show, but I am very, very busy right now. However, I wanted to get this out there while this is still fresh, while people are still talking about it, so that you know we can probably add to this conversation in some respect. So, many of you have seen the new Steve Rogers Captain America. From this point on, if you have not read it yet, there will be spoilers. In fact, I'm going to put the spoiler card in here. I really like that spoiler card. All right, so people have been talking about this all over the place. It is trending like crazy on all the social media networks. Let's discuss this for a second. First of all, let's get something out of the way right here. This is probably not what it appears to be. I think that we all know this. Uh, a lot of people, myself included, their first knee-jerk reaction to hearing people concerned about this have been to be pretty condescending about storytelling. I was wrong to do that, and I apologize, but I'm not going to erase it from the internet because, quite frankly, there's I should not try to hide from the mistakes I made, and that was a mistake. That being said, though, I have, in fact, spoken to people who genuinely don't understand how this storytelling uh, this storytelling convention works so i'm going to discuss it for a second it is fairly common especially at the end of issues to uh, have something unexpected happen it's a cliffhanger that's what it is in this case the cliffhanger is captain america kills somebody who is supposedly on his side and it ends with him saying hail hydra that is what is upsetting a lot of people all right so first of all i think we all know at this point that captain america is not an agent of hydra nor has he ever been this is not a thing that is happening because well quite frankly the people at marvel are not stupid they have not spent all of this time building up captain america for a mainstream audience only to do something radically out of character for no apparent reason this is the beginning of a storyline, and that storyline is going to develop over time. We're going to figure out what's really going on. All right, so we've got that out of the way. Now, that being said, a lot of other people are not stupid either. There are people who don't get the whole plot twist thing, and fine, whatever. But the more I thought about this as my day has gone on, the more I have considered the possibility and been led to this possibility by a number of people who have expressed themselves very eloquently that it's not really about whether this is a plot twist or not. Yes, plot twists happen. Yes, uh, doing things that are radically different or new are... It's a thing that people do on a fairly regular basis and it gets people talking. But, Captain America, for better or worse, is in fact an icon. He is an icon that means something very, very personal to a lot of people. And, more to the point, this is literally the polar opposite of how the character would normally act. Now, there are probably a lot of very good story reasons why this has gone on the way it has, and we will figure it out in time. But that does not mean that people are out of line for expressing, I don't know if I want to say mistrust, but distress at the idea that a, quite frankly, an incredible hero, one of the most iconic, and I use that word a lot, but it really applies here, characters in all of comic books and in all of mainstream media, to be honest, is associating themselves with white supremacy and Nazism. That's what's going on here. Whether there is a twist or not, that still is something that has happened. I don't blame people for feeling this way. I'm willing to hold out and see where this story goes, but I will, exp I will express a little bit of trepidation in this, because there aren't a whole lot of stories that would be worthy of this type of setup. You can only really do this once and really have it be effective. Let, let's be honest, 
it takes a when you are messing with comic book status quos in ways that cannot be taken back it's difficult to work with um i will give you an example having jane foster become thor is something that we all know is going to be reversed in time but in the meantime is a an interesting experiment it's a way that we can explore this character from a new perspective and show a different type of heroism in Foster, who, of course, is making her cancer worse by being Thor. It's a wonderful story, and I highly recommend it. That being said, though, there are certain things that stick with a character um, and fundamentally change how that character reacts to things. A good example is in Axis, where we found out that Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch are not actually Magneto's kids. That has a profound impact on the characters and on the way that they approach things in the future, which might not necessarily be a positive change. Does it add to them? Maybe. But so far I haven't seen that it adds in quite the way that being both former Avengers and the children of a terrorist who agree with him at times can do. So the question becomes is is this change is this something that will change the status quo which if it does fine but if it does is this something that is also going to expand on the character and make them a richer character or is this something that is going to make them a poorer character it is possible that this storyline will make steve rogers a richer character even if it is a fake out which in all likelihood it is but is this also something that is going to improve these stories? And there is a very, very, very narrow set of choices for how to proceed with this to make this story something that is going to add to the overall mythos that is Captain America. I hope Nick Spencer can do it. He is a talented writer. Um... I am not as familiar with the artist in this case, but I suspect that he is also going to have a lot to say on this. I am sure that these are talented people, and the people at Marvel, as we have established, are not stupid. But it is not unreasonable for people to be uncomfortable with this. Let me make that very clear. It is not unreasonable for people to be uncomfortable with this. And the reason why that they why it is not is because there is a good possibility that this could have negative ramifications on the character. We don't own Captain America, but Captain America does represent something valuable about this. And in the same way that Superman snapping necks was reacted to poorly by a lot of people, myself included, because even if it's helps him to understand that life is valuable, even if it pushes him, as Zack Schneider is suggesting, into being the character that we know. The fact of the matter is that we know this character. We don't need to rebuild him over and over and over again. We don't need to rebuild Captain America over and over and over again. And the impulse that says this character is going to do this thing that is opposed to everything else that they are may be cutting edge to some people but it also may be really lazy i don't know which way it's going to go on this one but i think it's important that we consider the possibility that people are not reacting unwarrantedly that comic books do occasionally do things that are kind of dumb and that even if this is, in fact, the fake-out that we think it is, that doesn't necessarily mean that the story that goes behind it will have made it worthwhile. I hope it does, but we're not going to know for a couple of months now. In the meantime, I hope you're enjoying everything that has come out today. Uh, there were not a whole lot of number ones that you'll see on 
your on um, initially mine tomorrow or possibly Friday. I'm going to MegaCon to meet some creators, see if I can talk to them. So who knows, but suffice it to say, I really hope that you are enjoying what you've seen. I hope that you enjoy Rebirth. I'm probably going to check it out very shortly. And I need to get back to work right now, so take care, everybody.